Welcome back and many thanks indeed for your time, uh, for joining us here on the news review segment on the New Day. And let's quickly say happy birthday, belated one of course, to a very, very special person uh, whose birthday was yesterday. Belated birthday to Jennifer Mensah of the Ministry of Land and Natural Resources. May your paths continuously be blessed. This is from your very good friend, um, Adam um, Mensah Chotome of the graphic, uh, the New Times Corporation. Congratulations to Jonathan Syme and Dorothy Syme. Yesterday, the, the new baby girl dropped. So uh, congratulations. If it's your birthday today, happy birthday. The Ghanaian Times this morning is reporting to us that the Easy Pilot voter registration exercise successful, but Western region suffers technical glitch. Include COVID-19 testing in yellow card. Ghana Immigration Service recommends. Churches reluctant to congregate for worship and uh, majority prefer virtual services to protect members from COVID-19. Business finder, IEA bags Bank, Bank of Ghana's um, 100, 10 billion, I beg your pardon, 10 billion Ghana cities government bailout and calls for judicious use for intended uh, purposes. Cabinet approved strategic investor for Commander Sugar Factory and mining querying revenue improves by 70%. The Daily Guide. Voters register, NDC battles AG EC today. NDC readies for register over 3,000 recover from COVID-19. Conference center is collapsing, just like the Independence Square story that I brought to you two years ago and the year before then. Um, and it's collapsing, the engineers are raising questions. It comes back to the culture of maintenance that we seem not to have in this country. Fix these dead traps, it's on the front page of the uh, daily graphic and you can see a very large open drain out there large so embarrassing for a country that's over 60 years so shameful out there look at it take a look at it and this is not uh, something that we are not used to in this country we've lived with it since the 90s and we're happy and we still are happy to be referred to as a developing country look at it open drain and the rains are coming and it will be choked people will put baller in it and will come and say hey, hey, hey. Shameful. Strategic investor for Commander Sugar Factory, cabinet approves deal. Park uh, Agritech to invest $28 million for three years. Parliamentary Committee OK's Constitutional Instrument 126. And MPP National Council endorses a Kufuado flag bearer for 2020. They said June 20 for the primaries. And BNFT poultry farmers push for regulation of imports. And fisheries sector sees growth over three years. Experts call for investment in government policy. And OMCs to increase petroleum prices by 14%. Bost margin and ex-refinery price major factors that are contributing to this. My guest this morning, Mr. Eric Chum, he is the uh, member of the MPP's National Communication Team. He is also uh, firmly looking at the Frontier South seat. Eric, welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. And, good morning. Uh, good morning. And uh, lawyer Didi Tamaklu is a member of the NDC's legal and communication team. Also, welcome. Good morning. Good morning. In a while. Yes, uh, I've not had the benefit of being here mm. um, in the midst of the lockdown mm. and all the accompanying matters. Um, I've been watching you, yourself and Eric. Mm. I can only wish uh, Eric well. Mm -hmm. Now that the president has succeeded in uh, <laughs> lifting the restrictions to allow the MPP to have the meeting to endorse it. Diabolics. And, Diabolics. Uh, How can you say that? To permit the Electoral Commission <laughs> and the NIA to go ahead with the agenda to rig the election, eventually manipulate the outcome of the election for him. Regrettable as it is, we may have to continue. Like we always say, okay. Aluta continue, Victoria said. Okay. Eric. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, are, are you prepared was, for June 20? Uh, well, to start with, good morning to Edward. I mean, I haven't seen him for a while. Mm. Yeah, so there's a scheme, have a, a scheme to get you elected. We have, we have a base that we need. We have been, because of it's COVID, coded. we it's haven't, coded. It's coded. It's coded. We haven't uh, encountered each other for a while. But I mean, this uh, mm -hmm. is a good morning to everybody, uh, all the people watching uh, TV3 this morning, mm. to yourself. Thank you. And to uh, my friends and family in Fantiaka South mm -hmm. uh, constituency this morning as well. Uh, I mean, it's important that we contextualize this conversation. Yes, mm -hmm. yesterday the uh, NEC uh, was in session and uh, certain <coughs> decisions had been taken mm -hmm. in, with regards to our 
parliamentary primaries, mm -hmm. uh, a date has been set. Mm -hmm. uh, the full modalities, I'm aware, would be presented um, sometime on Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are ready, we are poised. Um, we understand that uh, just because of the coronavirus, uh, the party has to put brakes on its mm -hmm. uh, intended parliamentary primaries. And um, we thank God that um, at this point, these restrictions have been lifted mm -hmm. and the primaries was actually going to come up. Again, I mean, this time around, uh, just because we have to um, respect and adhere to the various social distancing protocols, mm -hmm. uh, I'm aware that the elections actually are going to be held at the various electoral areas. Mm. And so um, it's erroneous for anybody to uh, suggest that mm. uh, it's because the president wants these exercises to be uh, done. That's why these restrictions have been open. You know, okay. when you do that, and then it brings back this the, whole these are, conversation. These are initial yeah, yeah, but we'll I, get need into to, the I need to deal with it. So I, I, gave I, need, you the, I, I need to deal with no, it. No, I, I need to give you both enough time. And and I, I need time to so, so nobody calls me bias. Yeah. Um, yes. In any case, I mean, that <laughs> allegation is preposterous, and I think that it should be disregarded. Okay. It's also the birthday of Aziz Donla in Wa. Uh, my good brother, happy birthday to you and to my good sister Evelyn Tingma, who works here at TV3. It's your birthday as well. Happy birthday to you, Aziz Donla and Evelyn Tingma. But the page 12 of the Ghanaian Times has a story that has generated a lot of controversy on the internet and, and in various homes. Churches being reluctant to congregate for worship, even though there is no restrictions on religious activities. Are there the major uh, majority of them are preferring to go back to their or stick with their virtual services to protect members from COVID. Now, did you, we were under the impression that the churches were giving government some amount of pressure to ease restrictions and allow them to go back to worship. We've seen a lot of people who have said that this is a, the closing the churches was a move against Christian dom and the faithful. We had so many things. Now the churches have been opened. Guidelines have been given out, 28 or so of them. And it was explicit. Mm -hmm. The app, we're told, will be launched today to allow for you know, the modalities to be put in place. And the churches say, we won't go. Why won't they go? What it means in all is that, first of all, the president's claim that his decisions are backed by sign and data. Mm. It is beginning to prove that it cannot be true. How so? It is beginning to prove that mm -hmm. our president claim that his decisions are backed by broader consultation cannot also be true. Because it does not make sense mm -hmm. that our president announces to the good people of this country mm -hmm. that based on pressures, mm -hmm. among other things, coming from religious leaders, mm -hmm. he is minded, as it were, to you know, ease the restrictions. Immediately thereafter, mm. the churches, our Muslim brothers and sisters, our chief imam, mm. the Ahmadiyya group, ICGC, the bigger churches in this country, have all issued one statement or the other, saying that we are suspending church services until further notice. But we saw a question of the no, clergy question, with the president. Question. Mm. What was the level of consultation? We have heard, mm. and I recall vividly, mm -hmm. the respected medical doctor, cum pastor, mm. Pastor Doug Ward Mills. You heard the live streaming where he said, it does appear that the people managing affairs today are ignoramuses. And that even when you advise them, close the border close the border. They refused until the disease came in. He made the point very clear that if we had closed the border a week or two earlier, we would not even have had the two corona cases in this country. Today we are counting almost 8,500 8, and something. Mm. If your tracker is to be yeah, believed. This is, this is uh, from Absolutely. the Ghana, Ghana Health Service Absolutely. Website. Something that started with two. Today mm. we are 8,500. M many more have recovered. It's all because the people who are managing affairs today have decided to put 
their political survivor ahead of the health of our people. You recall how in the midst of coronavirus, the government principal legal advisor was in court fighting for national identification to continue with the registration. You recall that incident? The AG case? Yes! Mm. So consistent conduct of Mr. Akufuado is about his political survival. Nothing more, nothing else. Don't you think the churches might have betrayed the president? Because see, we saw, I've, I've we saw, read, we, hold look, on, hold on. Read, read, allow me to put my question. Look, I've read this we, we've seen, we've seen, We've seen the clergy in a meeting with the president when the lockdown was on, and I think two meetings or so. That's what we saw publicly. There could have been others. So then it beats my mind that you sat at the table with me. We don't know what they discussed because the media was asked to get out or go out, and then later we were briefed on what was agreed on. Now, uh, somebody says there's betrayal, don't you think? You see, I've heard MPP social media commentaries that the churches and religious <coughs> leaders have betrayed the president. No, the churches are applying wisdom. The churches are applying wisdom. Look, I've read a U.S. Supreme Court decision, mm. a 5-4 decision by the U.S. Supreme Court, where a church actually went before the U.S. Supreme Court mm -hmm. for an injunction against a governor mm -hmm. because of this imposition of restriction. The U.S. Supreme Court, by a 5-4 decision, said no. Look, a time has come globally. Everybody is applying wisdom. Mr. Akufuado is only interested in his political survival. And look, let me just read a notice from National Identification Authority. Mm -hmm. And it reads, with, with your kind permission, right. it says, quote, from, good morning, from NIA headquarters. Okay. All registration officials who were put on disciplinary measures and proceedings are not to be included in this upcoming card issuance and mop-up registration exercise. Mm. Card issuance nationwide will proceed, will proceed the mop-up exercise. Listen. Card issuance begins from Monday, 8th June, and ends on 16th June, 2020, for now. And this is data point? No, this is just mm. uh, the latest release that okay. escaped, mm. instructing their field officers. So they are going back to the field. Why? Because Mr. Akufuado, Jane Mensah, Professor Kenetefwa, decided, for obvious reason, to limit your ability to get onto the road to passport and national identification. As we speak, passport office has reopened. Right. And so we need NHI, uh, National Identification Authority, to get back to the field because they have done all leaving Eastern Region. And mm. remember, that's the president's region. Mm. And so he needs the numbers to get on the road. Look, as we speak, mm. If not for evil against fellow man, the whole of Upper East, Upper West, the northern regions of this country, the typical stronghold of the NDC, if you look at the number of cars that have been issued, it's the most regrettable thing to do to fellow people in this country. Opportunities were provided for everybody to come out and register. No, the problem is not even. We are talking about cars. You have registered the people, but to you are yet to car. give them the car. Is that their fault? But the NHR, NHR, NIS has not said that they won't give them the card. No, but if the Electoral Commission, mm. even as a 17th, you remember that the initial instance was mm. that by the 17th of April, yes. they were going to start registration. Or 18th, actually. Sorry. 18th, the yes. only thing that stopped them mm. is that they have signed a contract with a French company called Tally Digital mm. to supply them 8,000 BVDs, uh, BVR, for the purpose of this registration. Mm. Just when the contract was signed early March, there was lockdown in France. So the company could not produce the 8,000 BVR. That is what stopped. It has nothing to do with coronavirus. Because in any case, the president had come out to say that when he was making uh, uh, Executive Instrument 64, mm. which today has been extended by Executive Instrument 1110, mm. the, the Electoral Commission was an exempted agency. What it means, in fact, is that the president expected the EC to continue its work. How? Where people, no, because if you say they were locked down, how could they no, have come out? If you say it was exempted, what does it mean? But how could people have come out? To the lockdown came together with the ER. Mm. 
which impose restrictions. Okay. So if you say that this agency or state mm -hmm. was exempted, mm -hmm. what in fact it means is that it was not subject to the restrictions. Look, all this war, all of us were under the impression mm -hmm. that the NIA, the Electoral Commission, mm -hmm. were all under the imposition of this restriction. Right. And Until the president addressed the good people of this country and indicated that these two agencies were exempted. Curious. Because, you see, at the, at the, at the bottom of all of this conversation, mm -hmm. and that is why the churches have exposed him extremely badly. So Be what, you think the president was using the churches? It to... was a small screen. Look, Mr. Akufado had never meant well for this President country. Akufado. Yes, President Akufado. Mm -hmm. He had never meant well. But people... Everything is about his political survival. Look, if not, if not, a president that claims, and his supporters, and my brother is going to repeat the same today, that he has a vote difference of one million in the register. That within these four years, unless, of course, the one million people have all died, He's afraid of the very register that brought him to power. He now needs a new register, politically engineered register, for his political survival. Now, if you look at such a person, and you think he means well for this country, then you are mistaken. The parliament should have, shouldn't have okayed the, the committee, shouldn't have okayed the, the CR that was put before by, by the Electoral Commission. We're reading that there's a 12... Uh, a, a 9 12 uh, sorry, uh, decision that's been taken. So it will get to go to the plenary and be discussed, and hopefully it will mature. And, In and fact, we'll without, without bringing myself and with the greatest respect, the kind of parliamentary arrangement that we are having now, we are basically turning parliament as a cabinet subcommittee. Really? Of Mr. Akufado. President Akufado. Yes, President Akufado. Mm. Oh, the MPP guy, they call my candidate Mr. John Mahama. That's why I, I say that. He's, Sorry. He's ex President Mahama. Uh, okay. They, Johnny, the no, no, no. No, no, no. You will get this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Eric, oh, Eric, oh, oh, Eric, you started. Eric, this it's not 30 minutes. I beg you, please. How, how many minutes? Allow me to do my work. 20 minutes. So you I mean, give me I'll give you 10 minutes. He started, at, he started at 15. Well, but it's almost like. Uh, so uh, allow me. I'll give you the okay, same time. Okay, right. So okay. my point is simple. If. Majority MPP MPs mm. decide to okay it. That's their own cup of tea. But I'm saying that the kind of constitutional democracy mm. that we have, mm. where, like we always say, the majority carries the day. Mm. Remember that there was a time that the majority even agreed mm. that women should not vote. It did not make it right. Would you go and register? Would your people go and register? When the... When are we if going the to see, start? The CR no, matures. No, when are we going to start the registration? Ending of June. Yes. The last time I checked to the, the calendar. To the end of July. I checked calendar. I didn't know what date is called ending of June. The electoral commission that gave you 17. Mm -hmm. As we speak, mm -hmm. let anybody from the EC come and tell us that Tally Digital has been able to supply the 8,000 BVR. They have not. But that's the machine. Those are the machines we're using. Which for machines? <coughs> Those are for demonstrations. Look, the constitutional crisis that Madame J. Mensa, with the greatest respect to her, is ushering this country into, for the first time post 1992, six months into an election, June, we do not know the register that we'll use for the election. Okay. It's a, look, it's a no joke matter. Thank you. Because issues about election inflame a lot of passion. Thank you. Eric, it's your turn. You're starting on the 25th mark. Um, I'll ask, ask you the same question. Are you giving the rest of the time to No, me? he will also get his 10 minutes, just like you. Um, Eric. I they, think he spoke for more than 10 no, minutes. No, no, no. But I'll give him. Eric, no. I, I mean, noted the time. Because, there's a certain account because, that because, as in power will be because, <laughs> because, okay. So, so even if you give me two minutes. Now, sure now we're moving to the to 16th. And, and, and I've become so. used to my, my panelists who... Yeah. Uh, get time and they say, oh, you didn't give me, he spoke for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Oh. So now I watch the clock and I give you the time. They, have the churches betrayed the president or do you see um, a lack of willingness just to open up the churches as directed by the president? With before the be before um, I answer that, um, you realize that that's exactly the same question that you asked um, mm. ADG, mm. right? Mm. And at a point I was confused. He was 
all over the place. <laughs> right, and I, you have to permit me to deal with the issues one by one. Okay. To start with, I think that we all appreciate the role of the church mm -hmm. and the, uh, the mosques mm -hmm. in our body. I mean, our, our natural, I mean, na uh, national fiber, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It's part of the, the fabric of a Ghanaian, <laughs> either a, a Muslim or a Christian. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, majority of Ghanaians, would associate it one or the other. And it's very clear that you asked him questions about even if there were consultations or mm, not. Mm. And it's evident there that there was consultation. <laughs> and by and large, um, some consensus had been reached. But it also really lies within the rights of the various religious bodies to decide to go back to their normal activities or not. Are, you, are right? you surprised that they rejected the offer to go back? No, no. I mean, it's not about surprise. It's all about do they have a right to go back or not? Mm. Because even when it's open, people are meant to take individual responsibilities mm. for going out there. And there's a clear guideline in terms of the uh, adherence to certain protocols mm. for everybody to stay safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So within the very, uh, even like, uh, peculiar situation of these religious entities. Mm. They can decide if they can be able to stick uh, strictly to mm. these uh, protocols or not, and then come up with a decision, right? Now, you have to also appreciate the fact that the conversation was about easing the restrictions, which right. means that you would take it gradually mm. to be able to ascertain if we're going to get spikes or be able to deal with the issue mm. as you go along. Then. These things can be gradually mm. uh, implemented to a point where we can come back to some kind of normalcy. Now, it's preposterous and even ridiculous to mm. a certain degree that in terms of even this trying to draw political uh, implications into this matter, the NDC um, said that the ban on public gathering was a plot to rig the 2020 okay. election. By we'll, we'll get into that. Let, no, let's, 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 you're not let, asking me any questions let, when no, no, you're speaking. No, let, Otherwise, let, you, let, let's, you disrupt my no, train I'm not of disrupting you. Yes. I, I just want to understand. You, you are not expressing surprise or shock. You say the churches have the right to decide whether they want to go back or not. Absolutely. But the churches were in consultation yeah, with but the that president. Does, not, does, it, does it mean that they told the president we agreed to one thing and they come back to say, on hindsight, we won't do it. I, I wasn't part of that particular okay. deliberation. Okay. Okay. And Please. I don't want to okay. guess okay. exactly so what let's talk happened, about But that. I believe that. I, I go to church as well. Okay. I mean, if you ask me if church was open today, if I would go, or if I allow my kids would, to go, would you go? I'll be a bit reluctant. You understand? Okay. I mean, so okay. I, I would wait till I, I think that there's a, okay. a clear... Let, let's talk about the smoke I screen. Yeah. So now, the smoke in screen one breath, and to rig. in one breath, mm -hmm. Uh, the ban on public gathering was applauded by President Akufuado to rig the elections. That was actually uh, the General Secretary, Sebi mm. Kutia. Mm. Then President Akufuado's decision to ease restrictions is to rig the elections. Mm -hmm. I mean, so these are a confused bunch of people. Now, so in, how can one person use two different approaches to rig an election? And it's, in any case, this mm. whole conversation surrounding the EC, mm. for me, I think that Edugi and uh, his, his ilk, have lost that moral standpoint. They mm -hmm. have lost it. Why is that? You see, and for him, he's a fine legal brain. And he appreciates the role of the Electoral Commission and what the Electoral Commission is meant to be doing, mm -hmm. which is that his role is sacrosanct. It's something that is entrenched in the constitution of this country to be an independent body, mm -hmm. right, to manage the affairs of our electoral processes. Is that not the case? That is now, it. if there's a stalemate, and I keep asking this question, very naive, probably very simplistic conversation that mm -hmm. I have with people all the time. If there's a stalemate between two political parties or two schools of thought in terms of what the process should be, mm -hmm. what should happen in that particular situation? National House of Chiefs call. Exactly. Nobody so, has, no, nobody that has is, responded. That is besides the point. All of these institutions, mm -hmm. right, uh, what I will call an external stakeholder mm. uh, group that would be able to prefer opinions as to what the electoral commission should do and, mm. or not, right? But we have to be very careful in this country in terms of how we stampede the electoral commission. And you see, first and then, former President Mahama, mm. in the case of Madame Charlotte Osei, mm. had come on, and it's on public record, 
to say that people are stampeding the electoral commission and she should, be, uh, should be allowed to do her job mm. and is an independent institution. So what has changed? What was the, in what, any case, what was the occasion at in the any time? Case, I, they, in say, any they, case, they say it was a legal change. Let me make my point. No, no, so, 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 afterwards, so let's put it in context. Because I it it doesn't it matter what the contest is. The principle okay. remains the same. That, does not matter. That's what? Remains the same that the electoral commission is an independent body. And it should remain so. Okay. Shouldn't be stampeded by the NDC for its own parochial interest. They're asking interest. for timelines. Listen, I don't. I would ask for timelines mm. as well. I'm a political party. For a political party, mm. right? The MPP. Take away the issues to do with government. We have a political party, mm -hmm. and the sole aim of any political party is to win political office. That's right. So we also are minded by the fact that the electoral commission should be up and doing when mm. it comes to all the things that they said that they would do. Mm -hmm. So we have an interest there. But the point is that the New Patriotic Party, mm -hmm. since the inception of this uh, constitution, since 1992, mm -hmm. has been the political party that has supported improvements in our electoral process. Mm -hmm. And our principle in this particular matter is that we support the EC stance to compile a new register okay. by dint of the fact that it would improve the process. You see, now when you want to go into the issues to do with the register, mm -hmm. Afari Jan, it's on record to have said that if you look at the population of this, at that time it was 22 million people, yeah, right? right? Mm -hmm. And there were 50 million or so people on the electoral roll. Mm -hmm. And he says that that is a statistical anomaly. It's clear. The MPP since 2012 have advocated for the compilation of a new register. So it is not as if that the MPP has come into government and decides that it wants a new register. In any case, this whole conversation about one million votes, mm. I don't want to go okay. there. Hold on. Let's let, hold, hold because on, hold on, hold on. It's, it's, it's very clear. Mr. Mr. Abraham Kumsin of the Ghana Federation of Labor, for example, says that, look, if there was good reason to change the register, mm -hmm. we could have started the process in 2017 mm -hmm. as soon as the government got into power, not six months to the election. Government you, does not make... You see, you see, you see, Johnny, the government, in this particular case, the MPP government, does mm -hmm. not take decisions for the Electoral Commission in terms of completion. That advocacy should have started in 2017. That's what no, you're no, saying. Listen, we are, in principle, in support mm. of the Electoral Commission to compile a new register. And there's so many other people. You see, when you have this conversation on... The, the advocacy, I'm talking about the advocacy yes, to, it does to not, have this register. This really, advocacy that you're not, pushing. It does not really... I am not advocating. Okay. I am in support. Okay of the EC's decision to compile a new register. What's the difference between... And so the many... No, but there's, it's different. It, there's a difference. Okay. There are so many Ghanaians, mm. millions of Ghanaians, who also share the same view. Could it and have I'm saying that, earlier? I, I, I don't know. Maybe. But we all know the exigencies of the time. Mm. We all appreciate the exigencies of the time. Again, he went on to talk about a uh, constitutional crisis in terms right. of uh, what the, uh, Madame G. Mensah is saying. But, he, he, that, but mm. he even forgot to say that. Listen, in a case that we are unable to even have an election, mm -hmm. right? We also have a constitutional crisis. So in that case, what do you do as a leader? And that's what Shakespeare said. Uneasy lies a head that wears a crown. Mm -hmm. So a decision has to be made. And the president is on record to have said that he does not want to extend his tenure by even a day, a second. So the Electoral Commission, to adhere to its strict protocols in terms of social distancing, mm -hmm. checking that people wash their hands, sanitizing, wearing the proper PP so mm -hmm. that people can go and do what is their civic responsibility. Okay. Now, you know, so, now he, the parliament, parliament has... No, uh, he is we're, we're sitting up, here. Pa parliament has... Okay, he is sitting here. Parliament's he committee. Sitting here. Parliament's committee, yes. uh, uh, Eric, sorry. Every parliament's proof. committee has uh, okayed the, uh, the CI that the Electoral Commission presented to have the voter, uh, the NIA card, mm -hmm. the passport, and two guarantees yes. to be used as a requirement to get those cards. Yes. It will go to the plenary, hopefully it will mature and it will be passed. I don't know if you have the Ghana card yet, but the consensus on the streets, from some people who have come to us, is that the process of registering for the Ghana card, including putting your face in that machine for your biometrics and your eye, uh, iris to be you know, taken, in itself is dangerous at this point when we are all told to wear face masks. Do you agree with that, that see, thinking? And, and to say that, it, Johnny, it might endanger the lives of people. Johnny, mm. as for thinking, as for people preferring uh, opinions and mm. expressing disquiet and everything, that is the whole uh, uh, tenet of what a democracy should be. People mm. are allowed to do so. But you see, his position mm -hmm. on even the fact that parliament has become 
almost like a, an extension of a cabinet, mm. right? It's also an indictment on his members of uh, the minority uh, and in, in parliament, <laughs> work and right? Work. So he's saying that, mm. is he saying that he's, the members of parliament mm. from his side are actually sleeping on the job? Ah, is that what he's saying? Ended. No, but you see, apart from that, apart from that, apart from that, apart from that, there was a 12 nine decision. Let's say, let's say, there was a 12 nine decision. Say, when, it, when it suits them, <laughs> when it suits them, oh, right, mm. it's parliament. When it comes to issues like this where there's some kind of contention mm. or whatever, mm. then there's a clear distinction between what's uh, a minority <laughs> and a majority. Okay. Listen, let's agree that we want to be governed by this tenets of democracy mm. and not pick and choose what is good for us. Okay. Well, you see, I'll, I'll come to the issue to do with okay. NIA. Quickly. This issue of cards. Mm. The, the NIA is on record to have said that I've given, seven I'm million, time actually at right? this point. Mm. Seven million of these cards are actually being issued out. Mm. It's not the case. Mm. And that some people still have Don't some have outstanding cards, yeah. cards mm. but it's going to be issued. They have also agreed that they will go around the country and do a more pop, more pop so that people who have uh, here that did not have an opportunity mm. to uh, have their cars to be able your, to your party so. general secretary Issues said in the past that he would they will resist um, any mopa by the ni he said listen, it is on listen, record listen, listen, listen. your party see, general i secretary. haven't heard him say mr that. john boyd i oh, haven't I, I haven't but well but the fact that he has said it doesn't mean that i've heard it <laughs> but all i'm saying that all i'm saying what, is that what do you make of this that? issue, that's your party general this issue secretary. i haven't heard it he will whip you into line listen this issue of um what's it called People vouching for others, like two people, guarantors right, and right. all that. It's something that has been done in the past, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the NDC's position, if you want to go back to the um, uh, Abu Ramadan, Kari yeah. Nirmako, Evans, Evans Nirmako, Nirmako mm. uh, issue going to the Supreme Court and everything, mm. where it's on record that using the uh, NHIS card mm. was flawed. And what it means is that there are so many people who even have existing, mm. um, uh, uh, what do you call it, EC, Quota mm -hmm. ID cards, mm -hmm. right? That probably shouldn't have even been on the roll to start with. Mm -hmm. And we're saying that if you're really interested in the democracy like you claim to be, instead of this whole threatening us with this revolutionary past mm -hmm. and we have a pension for uh, 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 unleashing okay. chaos and all of those things, right? Eric, you okay. should. Did they happen this Eric, You should. Eric, you should. Eric, no, no, no. Let me, let me. You, you should. Your, 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 time, your time is up. I've given no. you two, uh, two minutes extra. But let me, but let because me, you kept interrupting but, but me. Let me. Let me put this quickly to you. Oh, you're the government in power, so you, you would have to answer more. In fact, that's why you're I, giving him more time. It is, it is those... He hasn't given him more time. It is, it is, no, no, no. This, so is, so this is 39, actually. So you should have ended at 20, uh, 37, but I've given you more two minutes. It is those in power that you must hold accountable. What do you hold opposition accountable for? Well, so 14th July 2016, this was because you brought in the uh, Evans Limaku thing. The Electoral Commission of Ghana has released a list containing details of all um, the 56,772 persons who use the NHIS card to register as voters in 2012. And they are saying that they have deleted all of these list. Now, Abu Ramadan, who joined Evans Limaku to take the case to court, is now holding press conferences to suggest that that was not done. The EC's PRO, Sylvia, also on Onya FM's uh, 100 Degrees, says that was not done. The lawyers have said that could be contemptuous or whatever it is they want to ascribe. Even in 2016, this EC told us that they had deleted the names and so the register was good to go. Why are they singing a different song in 2020? Well, but they... You are political, but you should so, be interested so, in yes, but, mm. but I, I stated categorically that the MPP is interested in what the AC does. We are. Are right? you disappointed but, that the AC told us one thing in the well, past and are telling us a yes, different thing? But, that, we but that is even the more reason why. Right? That's even the more reason why. Couple with other things. For instance... Should, you remember, shouldn't you be host, holding it? No, no, listen, I, I, I listen, let to, me finish. Let, me, let me make my point. No, no, I'll ask you a there. question. You are but not you answering can't my question. Ask me a question and then prevent me from answering. Okay. Right? I'm saying that. That, what is being said mm. right now, coupled with even other examples. I'll give you one example. There's an example of Madame Charlotte say, mm. saying that Ahmadou Sule, who was a uh, deputy EC mm. chair, right? was able to even go into the system to do voter transfer, right. which, as far as I'm concerned, is a manipulation of the register. Mm -hmm. Right? Issues to do with people who were able to get the, the, um, uh, onto the roll mm -hmm. with NHIS cards, right. which hasn't been expunged. Mm -hmm. So 
when you have all these conversations, and we can have, and he's a politician, he appreciates these conversations, where it used to be even with gerrymandering and all that. And I'm confident that if we had a new, like if we had a new rule like we're advocating mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. in 2012 and 2016, maybe the NPP would have won by more than 2 million votes. Shouldn't you be holding the EC's you know, foot to the so, fire? No, so that I'm is saying, why. I'm but, saying that, Eric, but, but you have not answered my question. What has happened? Eric, you have given me examples that doesn't answer my question. It, it has. My it question has. is it's that clear. the and, EC... And I've given you a position hold on. of hold, the NPP, hold on. which is that... We are in support of the compilation of a new okay. register. So, and as a result Johnny, of all of these you. No, you get your Johnny, time. I'll give you, you time. Know, you know, I'll give any you time, time uh, a student begins to uh, allow ask me, more, allow me. more time during the exams. Allow me. I'm not asking for allow me. Time. Allow <laughs> me. He's not asking for time. I can, <laughs> I can put everything <laughs> See, that Eric, I said here. Eric, <laughs> listen, because I'm confident. Eric, that. Allow me to ask my question. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, you have given me examples. You are yeah. accusing me of not allowing you to answer. My question is that the AC said in 2016 that they had obeyed the dictates of the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. the highest court of the land, mm -hmm. and deleted over 56,000 names. Mm -hmm. Now in 2020, and they have gone on to hold election, create regions, mm -hmm. do district assembly level elections and mm -hmm. all of that. Now in 2020, they are telling us that what they told us in 2016 that they have done, they actually didn't do. Mm -hmm. It's one EC, it's not the individuals mm -hmm. involved. Mm -hmm. Should we not rather be holding the EC's foot to the fire? to say that we expect you to be independent, truthful, have integrity, be honest with us, rather than come to say, oh, because we couldn't do it back then and we told you we did it, we need a new register, so support us to do it and stop stampeding us. Well, that is your position, but our position is very simple. Our position is that, yes, we all knew that. The reason why that issue even made its way to the Supreme Court was as a result that even the 56,000 that number that they were talking about, mm -hmm. right, was way more than that. It was way more than that. And it was clear even in the proceedings. Okay. You know, and I'm glad that Edu J is here. But that is why. That's the more reason why. That at this point, we cannot even go back and try and uh, make justifications for why they didn't do it or why they did it. But at this point, it's permanent. It's, it's, it's extremely important that mm. the stakes in the 2020 elections are extremely high. Okay. Why won't we now agree that with all the things that has happened, all mm. the anomalies that we have actually mm. uh, found, Right, to go out there and compile a new register which reflects the true state of the people of Ghana who are allowed and eligible to vote. Okay, uh, you see, let me, let me see, give you two minutes and certain, then I'll, I'll give There is a there. certain entitlement mentality of, of our friends associated with the MPP mm. that is beginning to undermine the peaceful coexistence of this country. There's also hold a hold certain hold 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 mentality hold Eric, that Eric, has been part of Eric, the NDC Eric, for a very long time. Eric, Eric you can't fight. You, no, no, you, no, you don't have the no, floor. No, no, you don't have the floor. You're so no, no, no. You, I, we don't, I don't do that. Yeah. So you're, you're supposed to, want to put on this. There's also a seat. No, no, mentality. you don't have the floor. Your platform. microphone is off, by right the way. Right now, on this platform, because the only person who has demonstrated a seat mentality is my brother. He wanted to take control, even in my time. But the point I'm making is that, look, the current biometric register mm. was done for Nanado. How do you go back saying that? No, he brought this whole idea. Then the political party said, okay, you let's do the biometric for him. Mm. Then we did it for him. For our good. Very well. Then we come to the point where at every point in time, he will say, do this, then we'll do it for him. Look, as we speak, what's the justification my brother is providing mm. for this quest for a needless register? Mm. Is that, according to Mrs. Charlotte, mm. Amadou Sule had done illegal transfer. Mm -hmm. Remember, when you do an illegal transfer of vote, it does not blot the register. What an illegal transfer simply means is that maybe there are 10 people in Domi mm -hmm. five in, say, Ashama. Mm -hmm. You move two to Ashama. Mm -hmm. The 10 people are still on the register. Do you still understand what the ratio of Germany is? Please, 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 Okay, but, but would your, you, claim, you, your claim is that the you, you have, you have your time. The seed mentality must so so that I can proceed. 
look, for the first time, mm. we are having to compile a new register without the benefit of what you call population census. So question, what numbers are informing Jane Mensah, even in the printing of registration materials? Because you need a population census. Mm. It is the population census that will give you an indication of the registrable population, mm. persons 18 years and above. So that when you are printing the registration material, that is what will inform you. Two, when you are doing the distribution of registration material, because you know 18 and above in Volta region, there are 1.2 million. Mm. 18 and above in Ashanti region, there are 4 million. 18 and above in Nord uh, Northern region, as so and so. So when you are doing the distribution of registration material, you are informed by data. Mr. Akufuado is not interested. Sorry, is not interested mm. in the population census. No. But Please, government has done everything to frustrate the Ghana Statistical Service from going ahead with compare, you know, the population and housing census. When you say everything, what do you mean? Look, money. I have heard the PRO that the amount they put before government that they needed to start the population and housing service was not given. They gave them half of it. And so a government that is not interested mm. in having a credible population and housing census so that tomorrow leading government officials cannot go on Facebook and say, K2 South, you have this number of population and why do you have this registrable population? Let's do the housing and population census. That is what will become the feed mm. into compiling a national register of voters. Why in this case, mm -hmm. so is this government not interested in the housing and population census? Have they said it? They are putting it to next year. They are putting it to next year. Meanwhile, meanwhile, ah, meanwhile government that. is bent on getting NIA to register people because we have limited the source document, the breeder document. Why can we so, uh, uh, resource NIA and I cannot do the same thing to Ghana Statistical Service? So when you put all of these things together, mm -hmm. there is only one irresistible conclusion. That? A grand scheme but, <laughs> by Mr. Akufuado, mm -hmm. Jane Mensah, and the others to hijack the sovereignty the, 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 the whole idea mm -hmm. of people suffrage. And that is why I have always been saying, me, I have no other place to go except Ghana. Okay, let me ask you uh, this uh, uh, legal question. The, uh, the question I asked Eric, the, the Electoral Commission told us in 2016 that they had deleted the, the names. Now, fast forward in 2020, the person who took the matter to court and the Electoral Commission are saying that that deletion was not done but we have carried out processes with it. Should we be holding the electoral commission's foot to the fire and dragging them before the Supreme Court to say, they told us all. You see, there is, there, I have a mark for public officers, mm. and that mark is integrity and candor. First of all, if you fail to obey the lawful orders emanating from the Supreme Court of Ghana, mm. in the case of even a president, it's grounds for your removal. For an electoral commissioner, that's even high crime to disobey the lawful orders of the Supreme Court. In this case, I recall, and in fact, I was in court. Mm. First, Abu Ramadan, he came, the fair judgment, he came for clarification of the judgment, mm. the, and then the orders were made. J. Men, uh, uh, Charlotte Osei came with her officer before the Supreme Court with the 54,000. Mm. In any case, the principle of law that I know is that he who alleges must prove. That's right. The MPP has not been able to say, Edujiku do Tamaklo, when he registered in 2012 to vote, he did with NHIS card. Because the this, form, form A didn't have no, hold those on. details. No, hold mm. on. This is the proof of it. Mm. Have his name deleted. But the form A, you the electoral committee says that the form A... That is, no, 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 that's exactly, him no, no, but that's exactly to, the to, question to, I'm, to, uh, I'm putting to mm. you. That He who alleges, you are alleging that the persons who registered mm. Mm. are more than 54,000. Right. The body that has the ability, the source code, everything says, mm -hmm. we have 54. You are saying it is not. In the absence of any evidence, you want me to believe MPP and disbelieve the Electoral Commission then? Okay. Why? Thank you. Uh, Eric, I'll give you the right of reply, but Etanam is here. Let's uh, listen to Etanam. So, no, to you. 
No, 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 no. Allow right. him. To, allow him to have his right. Yeah. Yes, no. Right. I Welcome. don't understand the presence these days at all. How can you tell us you have consulted the churches with regards to the opening of the churches, yet they are adamant to open the churches? Where and where did you consult them? Political survival is working. Edu Esquire is making a lot of sense from Comrade Haya Shai Usudoku. Good morning, TV3. You're doing well. Please, I think it is clear this government is restrictions for their own political interests. EC should listen to their conscience and stop this new registration target. It will create problems for Ghana, having observed the major problems encountered during this piloting process from Rapture Home. If MPP has, have changed Ghana as they claim, then they should allow level play field that is all from uh, K from Teshi. How come President Kufado was able to raise over 800 million cities for the EC to conduct a re registration exercise but couldn't raise the first tranche of 45 million cities as budgeted in 2019 for the Ghana Statistical Service to conduct the 2020 population and housing census? The timing for the registration on the part of the EC is inappropriate, especially in this very season. Besides, there are already existing documents credible for the upcoming elections. So why re-registration regards to the incoming MP for Tamale Central, Comrade Mutala Mohammed from Osman Bukusen in Tamale? Charles Yame writes from Asaman Kese, the president claimed he did more consultation before easing the restrictions, yet most of those supposed to have been consulted are the very ones flouting his directives. Is this not telling us a lot about our president? Good morning to Honorable Michael Leduseh of Lower West Akim Constituency and happy birthday to Eastern Regional Deputy Youth Organizer Haji Sidi Bello. Good morning, Johnny, and your panelists. Please, Johnny, you are the mouthpiece for the voiceless uh, people. Please help we, the people of Kumbugu District, to plead with Mrs. Jean Mensah, the electoral commissioner, to pay us our allowance for the exhibition exercise we did since September 2019. The money is uh, losing its value. So please, Johnny, let your, our plead be heard from Abdul Kumbugu. Uh, terabytes from Ashaman. Hi, Johnny. The MPP wants the downfall of Ghana. Why didn't they compile a new voters register in 2018 or 2019, but 2020? Hashtag old register in use. Johnny, why NDC is afraid of new voters register? Mr. John Mahama will lose again from Osei Kufo Benjamin, Adventist Senior High Commercial. Good morning, TV3. Listening to Daily Rant today tells you that people are not ready to go to church. How much more registration to vote in uh, is COVID-19 up to the number being reported? If so, then why this measures? Madam Jean and the president must respect the uh, sovereign will of the people and allow the right and constitutional activity to be done and pursuing their parochial interests. Please, the people first, Mr. Adu. Let me take the last one. Bonti Benjamin says, uh, from Achim Ibuakwa, Johnny, I don't get uh, the head and tail of Edugi's argument on NIA and the EC. Is it that their exemption is unconstitutional or he's failing to realize that the president has eased the restrictions so the institutions can embark on their constitutional mandated duties without any fear or favor? Ghana first. That's it for the messages this morning. Thank you messages. very much. Eric, take your right of reply. Uh, he, he's talking about census not being conducted yeah, and me, uh, stifling see, the statistical see, service. When you want to, uh, you know, there's this famous uh, fable, <laughs> Aesop's fable, mm. the boy who was crying wolf. <laughs> now, when it gets to a point where you're actually telling the truth, mm. right, at that point, nobody actually believes you anymore. The mm. NDC opposes just for the sake of it. And even this mm. whole uh, mm. example mm. of the uh, statistical service actually yeah. exposes their... Uh, uh, decide. Demonstrate First, mm. the uh, statistical service, I think a couple of months ago, came out to say that the exercise mm -hmm. had been uh, truncated because of this whole COVID-19 no, situation. No, no, no. No, no, it's true. That's, 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 but but yeah, it's a that funds have been yeah. provided. And the funds, I mean, even I, I'm privy to 
uh, procurement uh, issues that they, uh, they were yeah, going through in terms of uh, allow him, procuring allow, allow tablets her, yeah. and all of those things to do their work. So they have been giving money. They have. I mean, so you can go no, there and no, double check. They have. You know, the right? budget, and then provide this them. issue. Allow him, allow this, him. Listen, listen. And this issue, I mean, I think that it should be disregarded mm. to start with. Oh, oh, really? There are also other. Really? Uh, yes, but because it's not true. There's absolutely no correlation. You remember there was a trade and tell me. Let me finish. Because I was very angry. I'm very angry. But that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't make meaning that if you're going to do proper planning ah. and procurement, mm. you should know how many people you are providing for. If you're yeah, cooking you see, at home you see, and you're inviting us to come and eat, you should provide for. I'll ask you a question. You see, we all appreciate that you are not in normal times, right? So in an ideal situation, right, you do your uh, population census, mm -hmm. you have the numbers, you proceed and compile a new register and all that. Mm -hmm. Then we have that, been, yeah, been, a no, yeah, we have been uh, <laughs> with this whole COVID-19 <laughs> pandemic. Okay. Right? Now, mm -hmm. we also know that in a case where we are unable to run our elections mm -hmm. when we are supposed to, mm -hmm. our constitution, as it stands now, has absolutely no indication of what to do. Mm -hmm. right? Which means that we are going to be uh, going into like a, a, a huge uh, constitutional crisis. Johnny, right? So when true? these things happen, mm. right, certain decisions has to be taken. Eric. Right? So if you sit here, Eric. right, if you sit here mm. and now you go and draw yeah. these inferences, <laughs> and then, like, that's why I say, I, I keep Eric, saying that. Eric, this Eric. siege mentality. Let me finish. Let me finish. Oh, 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 this siege mentality must stop. You see, this was, this, uh, socialist, uh, left-wing, communist, imperial tactics mm. that used to work in the past. It's not working anymore. You know when it started? These are very dangerous things that the NDC does. And we need to call them out. So, oh, when you go to Upper East, Upper West, and true. all of the... You see? But the truth of the matter it's is... true. That. And like you said, I'm glad that you pointed it out. Right? So this politics of division... That is how... That's how the MPP is dangerous. Divide and rule. This political... This, this party, the mm. MPP, mm. and this MPP government, Right, is assured of victory in 2020. You know why? No, no. Listen, you are not confident the MPP, of victory. The MPP promised you are not confident of victory. You are the not confident of victory, to, uh, and that is why you are running away about, from the register that brought you to power. You are not confident of victory. He promised to employ young people. Mr. Kufuado knows. You know, but he had blown the election. Infrastructure projects and all the things. Which infrastructure? Oh, go around the country. Which infrastructure? Everything. Even your so own constituency, your yes. own constituency, mm. the well, road still let's, needs let's, fixing. Listen, listen, listen. You see, so That's where the road minister comes from. Listen, the Please. most important thing for me, mm. right, your constituency, is to compare track records. What record? Right, and the track records for President Akufuado. What record? To a government a man that who claims mm. that he had performed so place. well. Mm. It's why afraid we? of the very register that why brought him to power. Why would we? And in the, Look, in the for case, the first time, case, I am seeing Mr. Akufuado cutting his face listen, to spite, uh, you know, cutting his nose that to spite his case, face. Mm. If that is the case, and the register that brought him to power. Sense to you, mm. Why would the president, right? Why would the president... Where are the one million people? Where right. are the uh, one million people? Change a register that gave him one million votes. That should tell you... There is no confidence of his victory. And principle. That the man is afraid. Okay. In 2012, we were calling for a new register. In the man is afraid. We were calling for a new, new okay. register. And in 2020... Change is coming. ...has actually said that they would do a Change is coming. We are Thank in support you. of it. Thank Change you. is coming. Uh, 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 Mr. Is Kufado is afraid of the very uh, register uh, that uh, brought him to power. Is the uh, a member of the MPP's communication team, and he also has his eyes firmly on the Fantiago South seat. We wish him well in uh, his uh, quest, and also lawyer Didi Tamaklo is a member of the uh, NDC's legal communication team. He's in court this morning uh, on the EC register thing. He'll be heard in Supreme Court, but uh, the Supreme Court. But let's say a few happy birthdays quickly. A few <laughs> happy birthdays. As this don't lie, why today is your birthday? Uh, our own Evelyn Tengma here at TV3, it's your birthday. Edith Agbeli at uh, Adesa Productions Limited, it's your birthday today as well. And there's a special one from uh, Patience Lodo to Dr. John Kofi Kubovi of the Whole Teaching Hospital. You are the head of pharmacy. Um, Patience says you are the best boss ever. And uh, also to Jennifer Mens of the Ministry of Land and Natural Resources, it's your birthday. Uh, it was your birthday yesterday. And congratulations to Edith, uh, Jonathan and... Um, Dotty Syme, the arrival of a new baby. If your birthday as well, happy birthday to you. And uh, you have proven that the free water and free electricity has been very, very useful in your home, Jonathan.
Uh, we are proud of you. Uh, we'll see you.